All right, we are in the uh, 2023 Halloween tournament. I'm in my uh, 22. I'm in my odd odd account. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm playing pro. I'm still trying to get together with Dunner this week. Maybe we can play the weekend round. I think he's playing somewhere out there. Maybe. But today we are going to uh, run the opening round. So I watched my. I went and actually, I have some basic notes based off of what I did in the qualifying round. So I'm pretty sure I know what ball club combo I'm using. There's some of it, if we get into a, a headwind, I may have to change some of my balls, but I got a pretty good plan there. And I have somewhat of an idea on what to do to the cup. So we will see, we will see. Okay, hole number one. Here we go, we have to get an eagle on this hole. There's just no two ways around it. And I'm gonna bounce over here. What I'm what I'm really concerned about when I'm setting this shot up is if we draw a line here from the pro tee. Somewhere on you see where the pro tee's at right there? So if we draw this line to the cup, if we draw this line going out here. It's actually coming out in this area, and what I'm really focused on is my second bounce. So if I put some curl on it to swing it back towards the cup, I want to make sure that that second bounce is clearing that sand. Now, I've been doing like a 10%, but if we've got a headwind here, I need to do, and I'm not so sure I shouldn't be doing a 20, but I think in a headwind, we might want to do just a little teeny bit more to make sure that it's not going to push us into that sand. And I was taking a Titan, an APOC, and a Titan. Titan, the king of balls, and an APOC. 1.15 times. All right. I have a 10% down on my notes. I'm freaking out about the. Pure tailwind and pure headwind, they really seem to be affecting the balls. I'm gonna up it to 15 just to just to feel good about it. My opponent's got a power five ball. They should be able to do the rough bump with the power five ball, I think. Especially with this wind. Man, that's a, jeez. The three rings, I don't know where they were at in their club. They gotta be towards max, right? So max, it's one point. With a five power ball, like 1.4, that's what it looked like, is that they were gonna miss the rough and not actually, that they didn't adjust it enough. Yeah, dude. What were you thinking? 5.2. Divided by 1.5, 3.98 rings, so four rings. And you see where that second bounce is? I got plenty of room there. Put a little bit of curl on it, four rings. Isn't it perfect? Oh, I had too much curl on it. That freaking tree's there. And from Ricky, that tree is super easy to hit. Whoa down. Whoa. God damn it. <clears throat> Could have put Max Backspin on there. Arr! <laughs> Am I making it hard on myself right from the beginning? Okay. Let's focus. All I got to do is hit it perfect and it goes in the hole. I could probably set this up where... If I hedge my bet, I might be able to get a great on one side or the other and a perfect. When you're this close, you got the pin here in the flagpole. The wind's blowing from this direction for my shot. If I sit up along this edge, I might be able to catch up perfect and a great to the left. If I set it up over here, I might be able to hit, catch a perfect or a great to the right.
You usually want to do it so you're on the wind side. So if wind's a factor, the perfect is still going to go in. Can you perfect? In the hole! Woo! Recovered. Jeez. Look at that shit. You gotta get an angle on that hole. I mean, that that fruit's not only low hanging, it's, it's shit they already put it in the basket. All you gotta do is pick the basket up. Damn. Alright. Hole number two. Sniper. Nah. Now, I have some choices on this hole. Which way is the wind blowing? Side wind? Sniper. Navigator. Let's go look at it real quick. Make sure it is the one I'm thinking of. So, if I brought out a bigger power ball, with the Navigator, my red line somewhere in this neighborhood. So, I, if I'm on this side, I'm in driver. If you want to take the rough bump, you can do it with a low power ball and with a driver. Or you can bring out a bigger power ball and try and push your red line forward and possibly get there with your wood. But I think that would only work on tailwind or sidewind days. Like today's wind would probably work. But if you had a headwind day, I don't think I think your red line, even with a five power ball, is you don't have room to work the wind out. You'd have to take it with a driver. But I'm just going to hit off of this because I can do this no matter which way the wind's blowing. And I'm going to do, my notes say, Sniper, Nav, Max, three backspin, one right hand side spin, plus 10 to the cup. 1.1 times, we'll see if that works. I think I tried a straight up shot and I needed to, and when I came through I needed to add on a little bit of wind. I think that is the deal. Three backspin, one. Right hand side spin, and it wasn't quite one right hand side spin, it was like three quarters. I was gonna try one, because it's easier just to set up the three and one and then go find the spot. I was gonna see if three and one worked. There's one, there's three. Seven point five divided by max club. Make sure that's right. Eight point two five rings. Eight point two five rings. Hitting it perfect. We'll see if that uh, gets me closer. Still not, I like the distance, but uh, still not, uh, I add a 10, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add more. All right, I'll double it. Plus 20. See if my opponent can get it in the hole. I got two and two on. What I don't like about where they're at is on this little mound right here, this area down here kind of at the bottom, sorry about that, this area down here at the bottom is uh, flat. Hey, hey, hey damn it. I did not want to split my screen like that, so now I'm not sure I can get it out and I don't want to take any risks of uh, turning the game off. 
it's actually not a bad look here where I can see the hole and I can uh, do the deal I can draw on the screen in the hole birdie all right all right Letting the ball to draw. And it is a draw. All right, all right. Okay, this hole right here, we have a serious opportunity. Let's make sure I get that. Uh... Hole number three. Right, it's all about getting to the spot. So let me pick my number. I'm going to take this bag right here. And if I over hit it down there, I might be in my Goliath range. And I'm going to take a katana. Now if I bring out a bigger ball... It'll almost, if I get out far enough, there is a spot where you can be, you can have red line issues there. And I'm just thinking, do I want to take this with my wood or do I want to take it with a Goliath? I'm going to take a power three ball. It might, it'll help me on the. And you need a three side spin ball, so you can do it without, but the best way to get into the funnel is with a three side spin ball. All right, here we go. My notes say I don't have anything for what am I doing on the drive as far as adding on, but I typically add on 10% here. In Rookie, I add on 10%, so I'm not so sure here. It's not like 15 or 20. And I'm going to do one less than max top spin. And my Thor's hammer is at 1.7 per ring. Now, I was using a katana before. And now I can push forward a little bit in my shot. So I might use less top spin than that. With the way the wind's blowing today, I definitely would rather over slightly over pull it than to slightly under pull it. Because slightly under pulling, it'll get your ass in that sand. And so I'm going to do a 20%. Now, if you're trying to get all the way up to the very tip up there, I don't know that your shot, I don't know, I will be honest with you, I don't know that the shot that you have from up there is any better than the sniper shot because of the funnel. And the sniper shot's probably better. And or Goliath. And it's definitely better than the shot right there from the rough, even though they can easily make it from there. Easily. Five. Times five divided by 1.7, 3.52 rings. I was playing one-on-one -on -one the other day, and I was playing with my Thor's hammer, and I kept looking down and seeing that it was an epic, and I was, because I've been playing a lot with my APOC, trying to get used to hitting it, and was thinking for some reason that my Thor's hammer was my APOC, and the wind adjustments, 1.7 versus 1.5, it doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but I was doing APOC adjustments on the Thor's hammer, and I kept, and I was like in the rough, it's like, what in the shit's going on? <laughs> After I'd forgotten how to play, and then I noticed that I was 
doing the adjustments for the wrong club. Yeah. Ricky. <laughs> and people ask why I play Ricky. That's why. That's why. All right. Plus 10 to the cup. 1.1. Wherever I'm at and whatever club I'm in. And I'm probably going to be minimum sniper, but I might be max Goliath. Six point one divided by one point eight three seven two and is narrow three seven two. Hitting it perfect. It's got the speed. It's is it in the funnel? It's in the pipe. Five by five. In the hole. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about right there. I, where I was at, I was a little deep in that rough where I wasn't, I was right on the edge of where the, I needed, to, I really didn't like setting it up that close to the, to the edge down there on that rough. The spot is usually like more out in here where you've got a lot of room left or right and having to bring in that area. I have, obviously I got shit tons of room on the, on the right, but on the left hand side, if I would got a one ring left, great to the left, I think I would have missed the rough entirely. And with all that top spin on there, it would go for a wild ride. I will take it. I will take it. All right, hole number four. All right, which way is the, let me see which way the wind's blowing, because that'll, when we look, and then when we look at the hole, we'll have a, all right, that wind is not helping us. Okay, you can, from the pro tees, if you bring out a big enough ball and you're willing to do some overpower, I, you might be able to get up into here with, with a bigger power ball and not do any overpower and just trying to get yourself you may not be able to work yourself all the way to the green but you might be able to get to right to that right there it might be worth the effort trying to get to that spot versus hitting from over here because this is long iron this is definitely going to be short iron or wedge if you can even just get in front of that you're short iron you do not want to get over here these trees are going to block your path so this area you know if we like we do not really want to be anywhere on that side of that line but with this wind, I really don't want to waste a big ball on this because I think even even there I've got shit a 25% chance that I'm going to end up over on this side. But I do have a good chance of getting in trouble. So I'm just going to lay it up and take the shot to the cup. I have made this shot quite a few times, so I'm not, uh, not too. And I think I can just take my number five bag, which... I said number one earlier, but uh, that was a... Uh... Let's think. I don't need a big ball. I can come out here with a navigator. Just a nav. Mm -hmm. Okay. Off to the races. Yeah, you go to the races nowadays and, and they have the little, you know, sponsor emblems, the little magnets that they stick on top of the car when they're in winter circle. They they put those on the track now and every once they get up to speed, they're coming around a corner, they'll fly off into the crowd. And same thing Golf Clash does, right? With the signs out on the course. They put a bunch of signs out there, put them in play.
rat bastards. Cursed swamp. All right. Okay, my opponent's got a two power ball. You can see where if they're trying to hit on that little narrow area there. See if they can get over. One, 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 five times. This would be a hole if you got a great ball inventory. This would be a hole. You can you can go for it over there if you work the shot out. If you if you're willing to bring out a bigger ball every time so that you can kind of standardize that shot on really big. It's especially good if you can find a spot over there. Where you can consistently get six divided by one point five, four point six rings, four six, hitting one ring great to the left, which is fine. This should give me a grizzly. Well, it should give me a. I'm not sure what. Uh, <clears throat> I might have a Goliath in my bag. Maybe. It seemed like there was that last hole in particular. You you really want to make sure that if you. If you get into that in-between thing, you want to make sure if you are in your wood, you've got a wood with topspin that can get you down there. And if you're in your long iron, you've got the topspin. And I don't think a grizzly's got enough topspin. It might. The deal is, is that it might look like it's short, and it'll continue to run down the hill. So if you've got a grizzly and you're doing that, it might work out for you. Your ball guide might not make it all the way to the hole, but I think it will make it all the way to the hole. Thorn. Wow. Max Thorn. Max Thorn. 1.8. All right. by 1.8 3.54 rings isn't it perfect <laughs> that adjustment was close but that wasn't uh it was on track i had my spins all wrong I was surprised that I was in Thorn, and Thorn's not a club that I, I just put that Thorn in my bag. I switched from the Hornet 9 to the Thorn. I loved my Hornet when it was six, seven, eight, but when I upgraded it to nine, if I could go back and lower one club down, I, I should, I'll, you guys can even have the cards. I just would rather it be a level eight. So I decided I'd switch to the thorn just so that I could see. Get used to playing it. It arguably is a better club. Hold number five. It is hold number five. Par three. And my notes say sniper nav. Now I have, there's two ways to play this. Sniper nav.
pretty bad spin. Okay. Let me look at my, uh, you know, let's not practice it. Let's just make sure I have a sniper and a navigator in my bag. I was looking at my notes, but I think I wrote, I wrote down some other stuff, but I think I wrote it down on the wrong hole, so I got two holes mixed up here. Plus 20, 1.2 times the wind. My notes say three backspin, one quarter right side spin. not going to hit off of that side and I'm not saying that you can't be close and I've shit my last opponent hit two rings great to the right and was a half a ball width from falling into the cup so you can get close that way but I'm just not interested in race tracking off of a hill Let's see if my opponent gets it done perfect Let's see if I can get a little closer where I'd like to get three backspin, three and a quarter right hand side spin, just a little, is that right? That's not right. I think it is right if I'm playing from here. Uh, 5.4 six rings isn't it perfect Still under pull. I did a 20% right there, but I'm going to have to go back and look at that shot. I'm, I was at max club when I was on the other side, and I pulled back and hit from the other side. And I'm not sure I wasn't at, uh, if I was at mi minimum club. I did a mid club pull, but I didn't do enough. I'm going to have to go back and look at that hole. I, I jacked that hole up. I... For some reason, I was thinking I was going to hit off the other side, and then I got all jacked up on it. What were you thinking? I, it wasn't even like I've ever even played that hole before. <laughs> I did bring the right stuff, though. I just didn't know what I was doing, which is not very uncommon. All right, all right. What do we have? Let's let's get on a roll here. Okay, we had a little bit, and we got to a few holes. Now let's get now these last four. Let's go out here and pick up two on the last four. So we got an opportunity here. We're on hole number six. Which way is the wind blowing? It's blowing that way. Let's go look at this. I, I'm looking at that little picture right there, and I'm... All right, all right, all right. Hitting out into here, trying to get to the shadow. Hitting off the center. I want to be dead center in the middle of this pad. Going out. Apoc Katana, five topspin. Apoc Katana. Five top spin, pink curl to the right. I did a straight up shot yesterday to the cup, just where I was at in club, and I think I was in like mid minimum sniper, and I needed to add on a little bit of wind. So today I'm going to do a wherever I'm at in my club plus ten percent.
Now, I do believe if we, like, I'm not sure in pro, maybe with some of these newer topspin balls and bigger wind, we might be able to, if we had a good tailwind, get over to this side. But in rookie and expert, in rookie for sure, in a lot of different wind days, just by bringing out a bigger top spin, like a power five top spin boost ball, I think you can rough up yourself over there and get on that pad. An expert on any day where there's tailwind, I'm sure that you're gonna be able to get over there. In pro, it's iffy. Because you are further back and the winds aren't quite as big. That dog will hunt. Especially if you're going to do the straight up shot. That shot right there is fine. Fine. Just fine. 1.1 times 7.1 divided by 1.5. 5.20 rings. It'll be dead center. 5.20 rings. There's three, four, five, two. Pink line of curl. And I went just a titch outside the pink line, and then I compensated for that by hitting it great to the freaking left. Do we have any more shit going on in this? Right to the front. That shot is set up. I could do max curl. I was trying to skirt the shadows coming out, and I'm trying to be right along that edge of the shadow. Where I'm at right now is on that same track. It gives me a nice open line to the cup. There's a ridge that's running. Like, the way that this green's running, it's there's a ridge that's right about the ball guide that my opponent's ball guide's on. There's a ridge there, and if you're on the left-hand side of that, it's all falling to the left. And if you're on the right-hand side of that line, it's kind of flat over there. All right. Doing 10% of the cup, 1.1 times whatever the wind is, divided by wherever I'm at in my club. Goliath. Seven divided by one point eight, four point two seven ranks. There's four, two, seven. Hitting it perfect. Man, I thought that was great when I let it go. It was right on that edge. I hit it through the break. It does break as it's going towards the cut there, breaking towards the left, and I hit it. It was going so fast it went through the break. I'm not so sure that that wasn't a good pull as far as wind adjustment. I just didn't have my spin right. That's the thing about this cup is you can go, oh, I, I need to add on more. But if you get your spin right, I'm going to try that again. But next time I'm going to try and get my spin a little bit better. Part of it was I was playing with that Goliath. The ball guide's not quite as good. I'm not, I'm not used to playing with my Goliath. I'm saving my Albi on this hole till the weekend round. So I'm perfectly happy getting an eagle right there. I need to set up there's I need to set up another bag in here with an APOC and a grizzly. Because there's at least one of the holes, hole number three, where I want to make sure I have a Goliath. 
But there's holes like this where I would rather have played that with a Grizz. All right, hole number seven. Hole number seven. All right. Now, what I've been playing on hole number seven is just doing a layup shot right out to here. Now, I did notice something yesterday. Like, there's a little divot right here. If I'm in that divot coming to the cup, I'm in minimum sniper. And yesterday I got out to that spot. I wasn't paying attention and I didn't realize that they put these little obelisks with the torches at the top out on the course. I I wasn't paying attention to it. But I ended up out here and when it spun around going to the cup, I'm like, how the hell did I overshoot that? I've been in that spot 30 or 40 times. I've never seen that. And then it, it dawned on me that they put those out there. So if you're hitting out to this spot, you can't hit it too far. And so I would definitely want to leave it just to uh, pull it back just a little from if you hit out here, don't hit it as far as you normally do because that obelisk is in the way. But I'm just wondering if I brought out, if the wind, let's see which way the wind's blowing. Side wind. And I'm not talking about trying to get jiggy with it. I'm just talking about coming out here with a, with a big topper from this area with a three power ball, not trying to make it over and just running your top spin out and trying to get out in this area. I mean, out here is wood, somewhere in here is long iron. This is skirting short iron, long iron, minimum long iron, maximum short iron. I'm thinking. I'm just gonna go out there and play it. Let's make sure I do have a big topper bag just in case. Just in case I decide to play it that way. Um, let's make sure we got some. That one's got a Goliath in it. And this one can have a Grizz. I will use that bag for that one hole. I'll try and make sure that's the only... Uh, hole that I use that bag on. Now the thing about playing to the other side over there is you don't have to bring out anything big. Let's try this shot. I'm going to try it just straight forward and see what it looks like and if I don't like the look of it I'll switch to the other side. And we will just play it. This wouldn't be a bad hole, especially the shot going over to the left where you're just laying up and putting in your sniper range. That sniper shot is a thing of beauty. It's it's super easy to get there. You can bring out a two power ball. You can bring out a one power ball. A two power ball will give you a little bit more flexibility on days where there's headwind. Nah, I don't, I'd have to bring out one of my bigger clubs and just try and hit it. Just try and go straight forward. And six. forward wind back on. Hit it one ring great to the right. And that'll kill me at the very end of the run. Very end. I might have had a little bit. The deal is, is you really don't... It, if you hit a great to the right, you take the risk of getting caught up on your second bounce in this area. And if you hit a great to the left, you're tailing off. So you're running out of, because of the fairways running the way that it is, 
you don't have as much distance the farther you hit it to the right. I like that. That area is not too bad though. I think if you brought out shit, if I would have brought out a bigger power ball. From where I was at, you could, I'm not sure how much closer you get. That's pretty, pretty good, pretty good area right here. Where am I at? Well, there's max. There's mid. There's quarter. And uh, 7.4 divided by 16. It's like a half a ring. Let's see if I can get my top spin to run out. do a half a ring getting it perfect get in the hole under pull I didn't do I just did a straight up adjustment I didn't add anything on let's see what it would have been if I added something on I'd have had to add on like, I would have had to just add on like plus 0.1 or plus 0.2. Uh, that area down there, that was quarter. So that's definitely shit. That might be max wedge running out top spin or definitely minimum short iron. That's, I think it is worth it. I think it is, even though I do like that shot with from the other side, I on headwind days this would be a little bit more difficult just trying to get down there, so maybe on headwind days I'll take the shot to the left and use my sniper and on tailwind days. That way I don't have to bring out a big ball on this hole. Because I think on headwind days, even if I brought out a big ball, this hole could still be We'll see. We'll see. In the weekend round, I may be willing to go. I'm definitely willing to pull out a bigger ball inventory. Arr. Arr. All right, hole number eight. All right, plus 20 to the cup. 1.2 times. I'm using a sniper and a nav. Any bag with a sniper and any ball that says navigator. That ball says navigator. Plus 20 to the cup. I'm bouncing it off the little island. Now, traditionally, if you run your ball guide all the way to the hole, this hole has run long, but like the last few times I've been here, it seems like they've uh, changed it. Something on this hole has changed That rough bump that's over there is a really nice rough bump. You really do want to know what your wind adjustment is when you're doing it though. And, and this particular wind that we're having today works really, really well on it. Hitting it perfect. Ooh. Ooh, shit. Shit. 5.4 divided by. Yeah, I'm at max. There's me and there's me. And I'm, I'm going to do max. One per ring. I want to be dead center in the middle of that island. A sliver of backspin. 6.48 rings. There's six, four, eight. Hitting it perfect. Still under pulled it. 
and I did a max, I, I wasn't quite at max, I was probably at like three quarter club, and I did a max pull, and I added on 20%. Oh, I over pulled it, the way the wind's going, I over pulled it, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> That's making sense. It's like, shit, how could I under pull that? <laughs> That was a big overpull. Let's go back to the drawing board on that one. I'm gonna do a zero and be willing to suck it up. I actually probably should practice that whole zero and work from there. Put the ball to win. In the hole. I was not able to help my opponent, unfortunately. Now what was that? That was hole number eight. Let's let's get out of here for a second. I'm gonna go. Let, let's practice that hole. Because I had I had done a plus ten and I did not pull enough, but I'm just wondering if I read the read the wind wrong and I over pulled it on that one. So I'm going to go out and just do one at zero, just so that we can see what the hell the deal is. We'll just take that stuff. Practice, practice. Let's know for sure. I may still have to work on it, but let's know that we're going in the right direction. So let's just start at zero and see what happens. I'm not sure what kind of ball you'd have to bring out in order to do that rough bump every time. But if we could get our wind adjustment right, that rough bump would be... There may be some wind days that we wouldn't do the rough bump and we'd bounce off the island, but I think on a lot of days... Sniper and a katana. So my opponent's over there with a sniper. Oh, I'm practicing. Am I practicing rookie? I am. I'm probably practicing rookie. Damn it. And that's my fault. Now we'll have to practice it again. You're getting bonus content here. See, this is why I play Ricky. Everybody goes, why do they, why do they play Ricky? Because we're Ricky bastards. We make these types of Ricky mistakes. If we were professionals, we wouldn't make these kind of mistakes. And if we were really professionals, we surely would edit this shit out so that you guys wouldn't see us make these mistakes. <laughs> that, my friends, was close. Yeah, this is definitely the rookie tees. There's Max, there's me. I'm doing a mid club, so it's uh, just the win. 2.5 rings. Isn't it perfect? Let's see if we can get it right in Ricky. And it did not run out. It's not running out like I said it was. It's, you need to be all the way to the cup. This hole used to run, but now it's not. Either they've either they've changed the, the topography of the green or the greenskeepers have gone out there and reverse. They've cut it against the grain so that when you're going... before it was all smooth and it would just roll like it was on glass. All right, Th that was the Ricky tease. L let's practice it one more time. Jeez, how much, how many times, man? All right, let's, let's try that again. 
Let's try practice in pro on hole number eight. Can we get, wow, look at that. Look at that. Practice. Hole number eight, pro tees. Does it say pro anywhere on there? That's another thing it could say on their playdemic. Make the practice bigger and, and put pro on there. If I can find an opponent. If you can give me a replay. Welcome, Jewel. Welcome to the channel. I go first. All right. Now, now we can see that we're not going to get there. So that would be with a. If I brought out a three power ball, I could get over to that spot. But I think on headwind days, I might have a problem. So I'm going to do this straight up. There's Max. And there's Man. There's Mid. I'm in that. One, I'm going to just do a Max pull. It's one per ring. And I'm going to go right to the cup. Since I keep being short. Five, five. Works better when you pull the rings. And not the course. Hitting it perfect. I came in on the right hand side. Came in on the right. So that means I over pulled it. So I need to take off maybe 10%. I could do that by hitting it at mid club, just counting it at mid, right? So if, if the wind was, let's work that math, 0.9 times a four mile an hour wind is three six. Four divided by 1.1 is three six. Three six three. The other one was three six pure. I'm gonna play it at mid, even though I'm eking probably 70, 75 percent club there. So let me make a note. So I'm gonna play mid 1.1 plus zero to the cup, and we'll see where that puts me the next time I play it. And we'll see if we can get that wind adjustment worked out. And that was very little topspin. I mean, I think I had a sliver of topspin on it. All right, all right. I think I got a handle on that hole. Hole number nine. Hole number nine, what do we have? All right, from the Pro T. So I played this, I, I went back and watched the video on this. And from the pro tees with a three power ball, where my red line was out over here, I had to do a max overpower shot. I just barely made it, got out into the shadows, had a beautiful shot to the cup. But this drive is problematic because if you screw up over here, you ain't making it to the cup. If you make it, if you screw up over here, you can recover depending on your clubs. But I'm just thinking that for safety, it might be better to, to bring out a bigger power ball right from the get-go because this is a hole that can screw your entire round up let's see what my ball inventory is got a few with some top spin boost let's bring a zerk Let's bring my. Okay, it's either gonna be it's gonna be one of those two bags. This one has a little farther 
Now this one hits, got, has more top spin to help me separate my, get my ball, my bounces longer. I'm going to try the Thor's hammer. 1.1 times whatever the wind is divided by Thor's hammer with a power 5 ball is 1.6 per ring. Alright, ready to row. See, see where we can get. Now you can, in one-on-one -on -one play with a marlin, you can hit it over, you can get it over into this area with a lower power ball and then take it around the tree. You really don't have a shot at the albi. With a three power ball, you've got a little bit better opportunity than like if you're playing a one-on-one -on -one and you come out here and you're just playing marlin quasar. But I will tell you, I've taken this shot a bunch, and anybody who's played these holes any length of time, you screw up over here, and you're, you're sunk. Six, six, four point one two rings. Okay, there's Max. I'm going to do that much curl. Two rings great to the left. Now it shouldn't kill me on this next bounce, but we'll see how it tails off. <laughs> Now, I have no idea where I'm going to be. I, the last time I was in this spot, I was in Sniper. But I'm not so sure I wasn't. I don't think I was at max. Nine times. 0.95. I'm taking 5% off. 0.95 times. Whatever the wind is, divided by wherever I'm at in my club. They move six rings and curl and overpower, but it was perfect. Nice, nice shot. Very nice. Nice shot. Nice. Nice, nice baby. Minimum sniper, 7.2 divided by 1.2, 5.7 rings. Man, I gotta pull over that fucking sand. And I hate pulling over sand. I really do not wanna risk. I'm gonna go at it. There's five, seven. Isn't it perfect? I'm just going to lay it up there. I, With that wind, I didn't want to have to mess with the sand and take the risk of a... Uh, I wussied out. <laughs> Sometimes when you go over the sand, right there it didn't look like it was distorting the rings and I probably would have been all right, but... I have a history with this hole and I'm gonna have to, I respected it right there. And I, and I definitely could have set that shot up so that I had a better shot at it, but. Uh... All right, all right. I picked up two. And I played it safe on the last hole. Look at that, look at that. 
That's somebody trying not to drop a shot off minimum score and ruin the two that they picked up. There is the front nine in pro. That's it. That's me, and we got somebody right there with me, so that's the deal. What they shoot in the let's see what they shot in the opener. And they shot a 14 in the opener too, so coming in just very consistent. Where are they picking theirs up? They're picking theirs up on one and two. Where'd they pick them up in the opener? Fuck, they got a hole in one on one. That's it. Nice. Nice, nice baby. Elby. Okay, there you go. That's what it looks like in pro. That's the uh, front nine in pro. I'm going to uh, go grab a cup of coffee and I'm going to play the back nine and uh, finish my pro stuff. And then I've got rookie. I've, I'm going to play 77 first and then I'll play uh, 22. I, I, part of the deal is, is that playing the 77 account, for those of you that have lower developed stuff, that's probably the most important account to watch because you can see on a lot of those shots what the spin is. And like with your Viper or something, you won't, you're, you're not getting the ball guide, so you don't know how much spin to put on it. Uh, you can watch with my 77 account and see how much spin I use. And um, then when you're taking those shots, you can get to the spot. You just, you just can't get the read because you can't do the spin. All right. I will see you in the next one. Be safe. Have fun. If you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe. Hit the like button. Ring the bell. Leave a comment. All that good stuff. It all helps. And I appreciate it. See you next time.